Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I'm back with one more lip balm first impressions review for you today. This is the last Revo I purchased, and I'm not saying it's going to be the last Revo I ever purchased, because I'm sure that's more than likely not going to be the case, but honestly, I have not been so much a fan of Revo's ever since the Easter limited edition six pack from Target. They didn't have any flavor, and usually Revo's do have a flavor, and honestly, I wasn't a super big fan of the scents either. I feel like Revo is just phoning it in and has been for a while now, and I'm super, super, super disappointed in that because this was a company that at one point I just bought everything, you know, the minute I heard it was out, I would run and search and scour the world to try to find them. And I don't feel that way anymore. Unless they came out with a scent that was super extraordinary and got amazing reviews. I would definitely, you know, look to my trusted YouTube friends for their reviews before I would go out and purchase them. And it would have to be something really unusual and extraordinary at this point for me to spend three bucks on another Revo because I've been so disappointed with them recently. But this one is the Honey. Now, this is the new version of honey, I believe. There was a honey before that everybody was saying tasted like mint. This is a Beauty 360 one, so it did come from CVS. And honestly, I had extra care bucks, so it didn't cost me anything out of pocket, which is why I decided to give it a try. This particular one has an expiration date of March 2018. Wow, I didn't even realize it was coming up that soon. That's actually not that far away. That's, what, six months away or so? So anyway, I'm glad I'm finally getting to review it because I've had it in my stash for at least a good two months now. That is the color. I didn't actually expect it to be, like, orangey, but it's like a peachy orangey. Oh, and it's got a little ding in it, too. Can you kind of see the little ding in it there? That kind of irritates me, but whatever. But, um, no, I didn't expect that color. I actually expected it to be a light yellow or at least match the container. I didn't expect a peachy color, but I'm really, really, really hoping that this will not be mint because I already have enough. Uh, I have, uh, honestly, I think my favorite mint is Eos. Uh, is it soft mint? Sweet mint? Sweet mint, I think the Eos is called. I love that mint. If I want a mint lip balm, that's the one that's going to be my go-to. So I really hope this smells like honey and not mint. And it smells like mint. Like, legit, it smells like mint. <sighs> why? Why, Revo? Why would you call this honey? They all, well, not all, but a lot of them come in this, like, honeycomb-shaped pot now. So why on earth would you not call this mint if it's mint? Oh, man. I'm so disappointed. I, I had a feeling... When a lot of people said, you know, some are minty, some are honeyish, and even the ones that were honeyish people were on the fence about, but I said, you know what? Like I said, I've got extra care bucks, I'm gonna give it a try. That is super, super, super disappointing to someone who actually expected the honey lip balm to gasp, be scented like honey. So let me try it on my lips. Oh wow, that bums me out. Like I can't even tell you how disappointed I am. And it is also flavorless. Yeah, that just confirms my my initial thought of not buying Revo's anymore unless something really, really extraordinarily special comes out. Because this one is not in the least bit special. It doesn't even give me minty tingles. And yeah, and it smells like mint. I mean, maybe... No. I wanted to, like convince myself that there was maybe honey mixed in with the mint at least because it's not as strong and wonderful a mint as the eos one is but no it's it's mint it's legit mint seriously revo why 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 <laughs> i don't understand why can't you just call it mint if it's freaking mint it's so upsetting my only consolation here is again that i used extra care bucks for it I mean, I'm sad because I could have used them on something that I actually would have liked a whole lot better, but you know what? It is what it is, and I, I sh should have considered myself warned, but I honestly thought that this was the newer version because it was the darker yellow um, honey pot, and it looks exactly like Winnie the Pooh's freaking honey pot, so you'd think it would be honey when it says it's supposed to be, but yeah, it's mint. So if you want a mint Revo, then... You might want this one, although honestly, if you want a mint lip balm, I would much prefer, you know, 
personally myself, the EOS one, I would recommend that one much more highly. So yeah, I mean, does it feel nice? Sure. It has a decent amount of shine, but for three bucks, I can think of a lot of lip balms I would much rather have than honey that smells like mint. So yeah, I do not recommend this one, unfortunately, and that bums me out because it just kind of puts the final nail in the Revo coffin for me. And this was a company that I, I can't even tell you, I would have to count. I probably have at least, at least 50 or 60 Revos in my collection. And um, I'm sure some of them are nearing expiration because I haven't gone through them as quickly as I should and I need to get on that. Although, as I've told you guys before, I don't worry about expiration dates unless something physically looks like it's, you know, turning or smells funky. I will continue to use lip balms. I don't endorse anybody else doing that. It's a personal decision. That's just how I happen to feel about it. And I think a lot of times when lip balms do have expiration dates, um, it's because their medication or their SPF will not be active after the expiration date and they have to cover, you know, their butts and that makes perfect sense. But, um, yeah, super, super, super disappointed with that one. So it is what it is. Consider yourselves warned. I was warned, but I didn't listen and I should have. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.